Hey guys, what's up? This is Hales Bender here again for another video. Welcome back to Mario and Luigi's Dream Team. In the previous episode, we finally rescued the Batsmith, and he told us to meet in Somnion Woods in order to assemble the old Tibet. So, I know that I've said this many times before, but to meet the Sea Keeper for some help in order to enter Bowser's Castle. And yes, so how have you guys been doing? Episode 55, which means now it is Friday. Yes, <laughs> still recording this on a Sunday, 16th of September though. And one thing that I have to say, uh, you know, especially, you know, my, Mex my Mexican viewers do know this. Today, uh, well, it, you know, it's basically celebrated on the, um, like, very uh, early... Uh, uh, how do I put this? Because there is one word that I... Uh, how do I put this? It, it's basically uh, Mexico's Independence Day. And by the way, let me just go ahead and get this item really quick with the, you know, with the ball. So, it, there we go. One up Deluxe. That's pretty good. Uh, sorry for that, and uh, yeah, Sumnun Woods, as you can see, I'm going to show you the mini-map really quickly. Um, it is actually over to the right, so uh, let me see. No, this is actually, yeah, 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 sorry, we, we actually want to go this way. <laughs> um, so yeah, today is Mexico, uh, yeah, today was Mexico's Independence Day. And one thing that I have to say um, is that, while I'm not going to be all, I, I fucking hate my country and all that stuff, but to be quite honest, you know, there's really nothing to celebrate right now, you know, in Mexico. Um, like, for example, you guys know uh, I did a series of videos back in, I think, uh, July? Yeah, July, when we voted for, you know, President of Mexico, which, um, you know, had me complaining a lot. It's because, you know, basically the, the fucking douchebag that we have right now for a president, he's basically not a president whatsoever. Uh, he was just, like, the the face of, uh, you know, Mexican television, and, uh, you know, that is basically why, uh, everyone that, you know, that's, uh, really ignorant voted for him. Now, there are two people that voted for him, and I'm sorry if you, if I, you know, if you think that I called you ignorant for voting for him, that is if you both live in Mexico and you voted for him, which, I believe the chances of that are extremely, extremely slim, but, you know, still. Two people voted for, uh, two, uh, two types of people voted for him. Number one, ignorant dumbasses who just believed everything, uh, TV had to say. And the second, you know, per, uh, you know, people are, you know, actual people who, you know, did find that that, you know, dumbass would be a good, you know, fit for the country. Now, I'm drifting away from the topic here is because, you know, I am just really against this and... <laughs> <laughs> By the way, right here we have a new enemy. Well, new and old. Uh, that's with whatever. I'm just going to go into battle with it, like I said in the previous episode. I'm going to show one, uh, two at most battles with, um, you know, the. Oh, it, it was a very, very good uh, time uh, moment that I checked my my inventory. I'm gonna go back really quickly to get some items because I only have six mushrooms. Anyway, this gives uh, this gives me time to talk a little bit more about the things that I you know what to say. By the way, I can't wait to do the bean uh, collection. It's gonna be pretty sweet. So, yesterday was like the the celebration for. Well, yesterday was the day of Mexico's independence. But to be quite honest, there's nothing to celebrate right now. The the country is like extremely, extremely shit. Like, uh, you know, uh, it, it, there would be there uh, uh, will be many, many things to explain right now. I'm just going to go for 50 mushrooms. Because right now we're gonna need a lot of them, trust me. So, a syrup jar, I'm just gonna go all in with this one. I'm also going to be uh, buying 45. Oh, it's oh only 900 coins. I could potentially buy freaking 99, but still. <laughs> all right. So, uh, gear, as you can tell, well, this is going to be the store that we could first uh, celebrate boots. Oh, that's really good, actually. <laughs> I didn't really notice about these. So, you know, these uh, these ones are really nice. However, like I said before, you don't, don't, do not, just please, don't spend anything, anything right now, even if this, you know, looks really cool, don't spend anything, right now the things that we have are going to be good enough, uh, you know, for this. At this point in the game, however, I had a, you know, another set of items that, uh, you know, were really helpful. But since we're not going to partake into a lot of battles, and the battles that I do show are going to be really short, or, uh, you know, hopefully really quick, I don't think the damage is going to be a, you know, an issue at this point. Um, but, you know, yeah, just uh, trust me, I'm going to get a lot better uh, equipment and, uh, you know, a lot more levels for, you know, later parts of the game. 
So, like I was saying before, yes, you know, there's really nothing to celebrate. The country is, I would say, the the worst that, it, you know, it has been so far. There's a lot of crime, you know, every day. And by the way, right here, uh, new in quotation marks enemy this is your remember from bowser's inside story which was ba um you know first uh seen with uh you know with bowser and i really hate these enemies they are they are bullshit um let me see they have like uh, you know a set of items that is really really stupid mari oh my god uh let me see so you cannot jump on the beast otherwise they are just going to you know to hurt you and uh, yeah the this enemy is really really bullshit i really really don't like this one so I am just going to, you know, not show it for, you know, for hopefully a long, a long time. Uh, so right here, you you just want to take these as soon as you can. Please do it as soon as you can. Otherwise, it is going to be bullshit. Let me see. There we go. I avoided that. And yes, there we go. That's nice. Um. So yeah, Mexico. In my personal opinion, right now, it just at the lowest it has been. Uh, there's a lot of crime. You know. Like the the economy is is uh, you know really really bad, and it doesn't really help that the president is really stupid. Like right now, I was um, you know looking at uh, Facebook and oh and by the way we got a level up that's nice. Um, I was looking at my Facebook and um, let me see what should I level up in here? Uh, should I go for power? No, not for power, not for BP either. Uh, I'm just gonna go for defense and uh, three was nice, so I'll take that. Uh, maybe I'll show enough battles for me to level up with Luigi, but I think it's gonna wait until we until I see another enemy on screen. So uh, today I was looking at my personal Facebook, and I, you know, I have, you know, I, I as, from time to time I check those pages that are against, uh, you know, the president. You know, they they have like funny uh, pictures and stuff that you know he's a dumbass basically. And uh, and by the way, yeah, Batsmith is basically going to assemble the ulti bat, so you know we'll li uh, we'll leave that to him, and we're gonna uh, continue talking. So <laughs> yeah, uh, another thing that I was gonna say, uh, that I was gonna say indeed is uh, uh let me see i kind of lost track of this but oh yeah 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 looking at my facebook i saw a picture of uh you know twitter it was basically one of the sen uh, senators uh if that's yeah yeah that's the word one of the senators in one of the states here in mexico he was like oh my god i am so happy to be celebrating in, in here my you know my uh, my country the revolution of Mexico, and basically, a revolution is in November, and uh, you know he confused the revolution with Independence Day. When I saw that, I could not believe my eyes. A senator of in Mexico, confusing, like just getting mixed up with two dates. A senator, not, I, I mean, if you were talking to, oh, by the way, they're here, uh, here they're saying that we need to head for, uh, Pillow Temple, which, uh, you know, sorry that I've been, like, uh, skipping the dialogue right here, but, you know, these are still stuff that, you know, isn't really all too relevant to, you know, the video, it is relevant if you're playing this game blind, however, I, I, you know, I did have to read it, otherwise I would have, I would have, I would have, uh, I would have gotten lost, sorry about that, but, you know, yeah, that is pretty much it, um, Oh, and by the way, right here, this is the enemy that I was talking about. So hopefully we get this with Luigi, and if not, I'm just going to get into maybe one, two battles. Uh, but I think this is going to be it, uh, because, you know, they are really cool. So let me see right here, we want to do this with Luigi. Oh, and uh, I'm not going to get my expert challenge. <laughs> okay. Uh, these dudes to attack are, you know, attacks are really easy to avoid. Uh, the, the one that I failed uh, was because, well, obviously I was live commentating. Uh, if you do it without live commentating, which you are going to, um, it, it is going to be really easy, trust me. So right here, I'm just going to rush a little bit, and out of this, I think I'm going to uh, either cut or speed up, uh, or um, you know, just speed up some, you know, some battles, be or uh, you know, maybe even like just not do them at all because it would be like it would take a little bit more time, and you know, uh, for progress' sake, I kind of don't want that. But yeah, uh, you know, and if you say that. Maybe this uh, let's play is not as detailed, you know, stuff. Uh, you know, to be quite honest, it doesn't really bother me. But if it does uh, bother you, you can leave. Uh, you can leave that in the comments. And you know, maybe if you don't like it, you know, maybe just uh, leave a dislike if you would like to. And you know, some some constructive uh, criticism would be good. But if you guys don't mind, I'm just going to be, you know, actually rushing uh, through this because oh, I needed to use a. 
No, I, I don't need to use a spin jump. There we go. For this one, I do, however. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, you know, that that's pretty much uh, what has been uh, up with me. And, uh, oh, and by the way, another uh, cool story is that for uh, the Independence Day, I went to a party with my girlfriend. And um, it was really uh, late at night, by the way. Right here, we have another pillow. Well, let's go ahead and rescue that dude. Um, we, we went to a party, uh, you might be like, wow, Chaos Bender, you're a hypocrite, you are going to parties on Mexico's Independence Day, but you say that there's really nothing to celebrate. You know, I really don't care about the, the, oh, what a nice, uh, chest crack, uh, uh chest bone crack, whatever, uh, yeah, whatever, <laughs> you guys get it. Anyway, uh, right here we're gonna get, uh, some more enemies that I'm gonna show you that, uh, there we go, so this is one of them, uh, only, uh, one of two in this area of the, you know, Dream World. Um, there are three enemies in this, uh, you know, area, like, for example, in, in Dreamy Somnon Woods, there are, um, there are three enemies, uh, this one is uh, one of them, there, then we're gonna have another one that looks like a bird, and we're gonna have another recolor of, uh, uh, one that we saw in Dreamy, um, Dreamy Dawson Sands, one that looks like a drill, that one is gonna give you so much experience, man, we'll get to that, uh, you know, soon enough. But, you know, right now, just going to continue talking about this. Right here, as you can see, we got Flame Hammer DX, which uh, I'm actually going to be equipping that because I think so far the singular hammer isn't isn't really quite doing it so far. And I believe we got uh, some nice, let me see, uh, Luigi, what should Luigi get? He's really low in speed. Uh, wow, we're, we can potentially get some more of these. Uh, of course I get a 3 when I could have potentially gotten a 5. And I am getting really cold in here. I think I'm uh, that after this recording... I am gonna go get a sweatshirt. It is really, really cold in here. <laughs> okay, uh, so right here we get a nice 500 coins. Really appreciate it. Like I said in the previous episode, you just want to save, save, save up as much as you can, because uh, when you get to the rainbow rank, um, and by the way, this is the other enemy that uh, you know that I'm talking about. Um, if you guys are watching until now, and if you don't mind, I'm just going to uh, cut every single battle, uh, the, you know, from enemies that we have seen so far. Um, but yeah. So right here we get uh, this dude, and hop, there we go, you just want to do that, you know, these are really not uh, difficult whatsoever, so, you know, if, if they don't put, uh, put the bomb on the ground, you just want to leave them there and they're going to attack themselves, which uh, is kind of dumb if you ask me, <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, oh, oh, nice, nice, um, so yeah, that is pretty much, oh yeah, yeah I was uh, talking about my, uh, let me see, I'm going to use the legendary wall right here. I went to a party with my girlfriend, and uh, believe it or not, in two years and eight months, it was the first ever time that I got to spend the night, uh, you know, uh, at home. Basically, you know, the logic behind, uh, you know, our parents, uh, you know, it's actually pretty valid, and I actually was kind of afraid of this, you know, too, a little bit, is because, you know, here in Mexico, there are a lot of, uh, you know, drugs, <laughs> you uh, uh, basically, in a lot of places are, you know, a lot of drunks. But in this date in specific, there are people who do abuse of alcohol a little bit too much. And let me see, I think I can get past... Oh, I cannot get past... I'll be right back. And there we go, battle completed. So, uh, this one is kind of confusing if I, you know, can potentially say this, but... You know, after a couple of minutes, it's really not going to be, a, you know, a problem whatsoever. And this is basically all we need to do. Um, we need to do this first right here. And I think that the one thing that kind of screwed me up on my first visit here um, is that you have to go into the tunnel of, you know, where you first enter, actually. So <laughs> just don't make that mistake. We'll get the next Nightmare Chunk right here. But yeah, you know, the thing that I was saying is that I, uh, you know, in fir the first time in uh, two years and eight months, I got to spend the night at my girlfriend's house. And, um, you know, don't be dirty if you're watching so far. Like, you know, I, I, I slept at, you know, one of the sofas, you know, d don't be like that. Don't be like that. <laughs> uh, but basically, oh, wow. I forgot what to do in this area. I swear I did. <laughs> anyway, uh, we got more time to talk anyway. If not, I'm just going to, you know, kind of, yeah, cut the episode because I am pro-progress. Um, but yeah, you know, there were going to be a lot of uh, drunks uh, out on the streets, especially, at, you know, very early in the morning, like at 1 a.m. or so. Let me see, what is it that I want to go to now? Uh, it's not here, definitely. 
Mm. Oh, wow. What a fucking dumbass I am. What a dumbass. Or is this a place that we... No, this is not the place that we want to go to, damn it. What did I forget? I'm, I, I'm, I'm just going to cut this. I'll be right back. Okay, never mind. First thing to do in here. Just go into the first hole and you will be good to go. I can't believe how dumb I was to forget that, but still. <laughs> Alright, so. Uh, if I, you know, I want to talk about something else, however, is that I am really excited for the following week is because I have uh, two races, where, you know, that I'm going to be, you know, like being like the, uh, the guest. The first one I've uh, talked about before, which is a, a Super Mario Sunshine race with Craig. That's going to be on this channel. And the second one is, you know, one that I that I can talk about right now because I believe it will be out by, you know, the time this video is released. It is going to be a uh, race. Um, me and Bobri are going to race Super Mario Brothers uh, 3, which, you know, so far we've only recorded two episodes. And not to spoil things, you know, well, maybe anything could happen. <laughs> anything could happen, says the one guy who got Blue Yoshi and was really, really in a good advantage, but ended up losing. Now, to be quite honest, I haven't really touched uh, Super Mario Bros. 3 in like maybe four years or so. And I thought that I was going to be kind of screwed, but it so happens that Bobbery... Having LP'd that game, and let me see, I, I really don't want to fight these dudes. I mean, I'm going to take the time to do that off screen because there are a lot of things. And me being kind of under level doesn't really help uh, because I've been skipping a lot of battles. But yeah, you know, just don't worry. It, you know, I will eventually be on a really good, uh, you know, position. So yeah. Um, let me see, the first uh, thing that we want to do right here is wait for the flower to turn this way, and we want to take this, you know, kind of tour. Uh, never mind, you don't want to do that, I'm sorry. Um, so you want to go over here, and we're going to land in this place right here. You will see that we can't really do anything right now, but let's just go ahead and switch places right here. Let's wait for the uh, tornado to, like, uh, you know, switch. There we go. Uh, so yeah, I... You know, me not touching Super Mario Bros. 3 in around four years, uh, you know, the Game Boy Advance version, I, I have to say, I have a pretty damn decent chance. I mean, you know, s since Bobbery has already uh, LP'd that game and he said he really likes it, and, uh, you know, c maybe kind of plays him, uh, plays it like uh, casually, maybe some, you know, a lot of times. Me not touching it, I thought I was going to get screwed, but... So far, if I lose, I'm not going to be mad, but it's not going to be a loss that I can say, you know, it was going to be like, wow, Chaos Bender, you suck ass, you know, I'm I'm basically not going to make it easy, that's what I want to say, uh, and I'm definitely not making it easy, I think I'm a little, you know, to, to uh, where, when we have recorded, I think I am a little bit, uh, like, I would say three or two levels ahead, which uh, in my opinion is kind of nice. So right here, I think I'm stuck. What the hell am I doing? Uh, it looks like I kind of forgot about this, but... Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we want to go this way, because I... Uh, yeah, yeah, that is what we want to do. This is where you want to go to, however. And after that, we want to break this rock right here. Then uh, you will be good to go for this right here. And now we want to take these little uh, tree trunks, and we are going to get to the area that we saw that little purple thing, and we will be good to go. Just uh, crack these uh, rocks open in order to, you know, if you were to backtrack, you don't have to do that all over again. So right here we have another uh, Hammer Brother. As you guys know, I'm just going to skip everything, and I'm going to battle it, uh, battle this stuff off screen because I really don't want, uh, you know, I, I I really really think, you know, even if it's an RPG. We have seen, like, a lot of battles. I mean, I'm showing you guys, like, you know, all of the enemies. It's not like I don't show you the enemies, and I'm like, nope, not gonna show them. You know, at least I show you, um, you know, some battles, you know, uh, their attacks, which is quite nice. Now, I believe you want to go this way first, uh, because the other one is, or, uh, you know, the other one, I think it's blocked, which, uh, yes, it is. It is the case, yes. So, right here, you will see the Dream Bird is going to be, wait, that is a Pillow Master. And yes, I'm going to read this because it is important. They too failed to escape the petrification. The temple. To enter, we must save that pillow. Find a way up there. 
All right, we will do. So, let me see. What was what was I what was I talking about? Damn, sorry. Uh, okay, okay, we got okay. So right here again, you want to wait for the tornado thingy to you know stop. Otherwise, it's just gonna blow you into the poison or uh, you know electric water. So yeah, you want to do this right here. When you get to the safe area, just uh, you know kind of go over here and we'll be good to go. Sorry if my you know commentary uh, you know is lacking a little bit, but you know. I am trying to concentrate a little bit more, and by the way, do we want to go with this first? Yes, we do. Because right here, as you can tell from the bottom screen, we are going to be getting another uh, really nice attack piece. And that is, uh, you know, everything you need to do in this area. You can uh, potentially go back to your, um, you know, mission to rescue the Pillow Master. And let me see, so now we want to go to the south of past this B-host, and no, 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 there we go. Uh, yeah, so the area that I'm talking about is actually over here. So if you go to the right, uh, you know, you're going to see this, and what is it going to be? Another pillow, yes indeed. So, there are a lot of pillows in this area. I think there are uh, 10, 11, or 12, I'm not really sure. But a lot of them actually are the Pillow Masters, which uh, w there is a second uh, like uh, area to this uh, place, which is going to be really, really nice. I really like the concept of it. Uh, which we will get to see right, uh, you know, in maybe the following episode, I'm pretty sure of that. And this has been going on for 24 minutes, wow, and I think we... And I think I haven't done, like, many, many progress. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep going on for a little bit, you know, because I'm having fun. So right here, I should have potentially uh, done this with Luigi first. Uh, let me see, I'm just going to do the quick Mario, there we go. Uh, and yeah, this is over, this, there's no way, there's no way I'm gonna reach that in time. Uh, or is there? No, yeah, there's there's just no potential way. Four, three, two. Yep, there's no way. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna backtrack, hopefully, and okay, yeah, it's gonna disappear. I, I, I wasn't too far away either. You know, it would have been a nice comeback. So, let me see. Right now, I am going to do that again. I believe the blocks respawn, so you want to watch out for that. Uh, but yeah, you know, because of all the battles, I think this episode has been, you know, around maybe 20, maybe 20 minutes or so. Uh, you know, I'm not really going to specify, but still. Right here, yeah, the blocks respawn, so, you know, want to watch out for that. And now I believe we are, yes, with almost 10 seconds to spare. That's, that's very cool. So right here we get a Gift Gloves DX, but we are also going to rescue another Pillow Folk, uh, folk. that's nice. So I think I'm going to rescue the Pillow Master that uh, Dreambird talked about, and I believe that's going to be it for this episode. Um, and there are a lot of Pillow Masters uh, to be found, but, you know, just don't don't worry. I mean, they're just like regular Pillow Folk that, you know, the, the Dream area is actually really, really small, so you don't really need to worry that, you know, it's going to take a lot of time. So right here, uh, that is pretty much everything you need to uh, to do, uh, you know, in this, you know, kind of little area. Uh, thanks, whatever, so I was petrified by a chunk of Nightmare. Yes, I wonder if the others were also petrified. You know, they should have added, uh, like for example, you know how in, uh, what was it, uh, what Paper Mario was it where, you know, all of the, uh, all of the Toads have like uh, really nice personalities. Um, you know... I know that there were a lot of, uh, you know, pillows to program and stuff, but, you know, maybe if they gave uh, each one of them, like, a personality of their own, that would have been nice. Let me see. The one thing that we want to do in here is that, if you remember, we want to, uh, right here, and we want to go next uh, of the, you know, next to the, you know, this thing right here, and now we want to take the tornado thingy in order to now reach this area, which is going to be kind of nice. So the last thing we're going to do in this episode is just rescue the Pillow Master, and that will be pretty much it, because my recording right now reads 27 minutes, and yeah, even though I already said that, uh, you know, I, you know, I much rather uh, focus on the, you know, progress in here, you know, I still wouldn't really like to have that long episode, you know, episodes, because, you know, maybe you guys, uh, you know, have, you know, better things to do, which I, of course, don't blame you, um, but yeah. So right here for the first Pillow Master, uh... I think right here we get the introduction to another legendary work. I'm, I just don't remember if it's in here. Uh, is it? Is it? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, it's it, <laughs> it's here. Check it out. So we w we get all the way over here, and you will see that we have another. Well, it, it, it kind of looks like the tree, but you know it's not. Just uh, trust me. So we're gonna get uh, you know with Luigi over here. Um, 
and this one I really like. You know, it's <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. And I really like Luigi's face whenever he enters the Legendary Work. He's like, oh! But yeah, <laughs> what the hell was that sound? So, for this one, we need to twist uh, Luigi's nose as if it was like a little, uh, you know, propeller thing. And you're going to be able to, um, you know, kind of uh, um, attach to walls. And you're going to be able to climb, you're going to be able to, uh, like for example, right here, I'm just going to show you in a second that you can uh, run and jump a lot faster. Like for example, right here, that would have been a lot better than if you just jumped. Downside, if you go the opposite, if you forget something, and if you go the opposite way, it's going to take you a little bit, you know, longer time, because yeah, you know, you're against the the air. So, right here, you can uh, hit um, blocks that are sideways, which uh, is always nice. And right here, if we uh, like go over here with this, uh, you know, nightmare chunk, we are going to rescue the pillow master, which yes, uh, awesome. Ah, oh, nice, nice. It, or, it, it feels really good to be doing some progress. Episode 55, and if if this keeps going on like that, I am I am very sure that we are going to be able to finish this in less than 80 episodes. Maybe 75, who knows. Um, But yeah, you know, it's going to be my longest series so far. Ah, uh, should have potentially done longer episodes before, but hey, what can, <laughs> can do a lot now. <laughs> okay. Ah, life returns to my form. I offer you my thanks. I'm a pool master, guardian of the, of the temple. Greetings, master. Oh, P Prince Dreambird, did you escape our fate? No, not exactly. Mario and his friends survived me as well. Oh, I see. Master, we must reach the temple. Will you aid us? The temple. Hmm, great need drives you. I will give you this. It will set you in the path to the temple. And we get a summon stone. This item was really confusing at first, but you will get to see what, what they do with this one. It's really, really nice. You must not leave it to the stony fates. Correct. Mario, Luigi, we must rescue the other uh, the others as we head to the temple. And, going to stop right here in the following screen, but not before saying that if you guys have watched until now and if you enjoyed, a like and a comment would be really appreciated as well as you can my social media down below for not to miss an episode again. And with any further ado, you guys have a great day, take care of yourself, and until my next episode, when we continue the search for the Pillow Masters in order to reach the Pillow Temple. I will see you then.